All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We already crushed a 7K subscriber goal, so we are going to update that board here for you guys. Look at Joe Burrow looking at all these nice, tasty giveaways. We have the 8K sub jersey giveaway. We have the 9K sub sports memorabilia giveaway. 10K subs, the big one, $1,000 giveaway, and the 12K subs. We're going to send a couple people to a game of their choice. Guys, we are very excited for the football season, but no more talking. Let's get right into this video, Trey. All right, guys, let's get some MLB picks and props for Thursday, September 21st slate of games. Take a look at that leaderboard, Trey. Start us off. Yeah, so far, so good for us. Uh, we're 3-0 as a team, but 1-0 myself because I gave out the Braves. to a score over their 4.5 team total versus the Phillies. We needed extra innings for this prop to hit, but thankfully for us, the Braves got us there. They finished this game losing to the Phillies, but that's why I took a team total here. They finished with five runs, barely hitting the over for us. Yeah, and then Seth is on the way home from work. We had to record really fast, so thank you, Seth, for joining us. What was your play today? Absolutely. Yeah, so I had one of the four night games. I had the Rays on the red line against the Angels with Aaron Savale on the mound. This Angels team's really struggled of late. I still love, love the Rays here in this game. Yeah, and then I went 2-0 on the day. I had the Washington Nationals team total over four and a half runs, and I had them on the money line against the White Sox. Holy hell, the White Sox are bad. 13-3 to today for the Nationals. It was a shit-pounding. Uh, Shout-out Lane Thomas, a grand slam, and I believe it was the fourth inning. So shout-out Lane Thomas to cast that over for us very early in the game. Let's take a look at our plays for tomorrow. Trey, start us off. Yeah, it's because I sent Lane Thomas a DM. I said, hey, your most passionate fan is finally fading you guys. You guys need to turn it around. And, and you know what? They did. So shout-out Lane Thomas. But my play for today, it's going to be the New York Mets at the Philadelphia Phillies game. This game should honestly be a complete blowout. Give me the Phillies here to score over their team total. It has not dropped yet. Like Bear said, we are recording early so I can go hit the links and hopefully score low today. But whatever it comes out at, four, four and a half, five, I still love it. It doesn't matter because the Mets are throwing out an absolute duty pitcher in this game and David Peterson because he has really struggled to pitch consistently on the road this season because Peterson, he's pitched in 12 road games this season and started in 10 of those. And he's done that to a 1-6 and six record with a 7.35 ERA paired with a 1.82 whip. He's just an embarrassing pitcher out there. And the Mets keep throwing him out, and the Phillies are next in line to take advantage of it. And the Phillies, they're one of the higher-scoring teams in baseball, too. They currently rank the eighth-highest in the MLB. They average 4.9 runs per game. They should easily shatter whatever their team total comes out. But I'm going to be taking their over 4.5 in this game versus the Mets. I like it, Trey Seth. Yeah, guys, and I'm going to take the Orioles on the money line here against the Guardians. I was showing on ESPN the win percentage that the Guardians are actually favored in this one, even though they don't have a starting pitcher out there. But the Orioles will be having Grayson Rodriguez going in this game for them. And Grayson Rodriguez has been fantastic since the All-Star break. He's been even better over his last four games where he hasn't allowed more than two earned runs in any of those starts. I really like this Orioles offense a lot, and I'm not really worried about who the Guardians throw out there. And as we all know, the Guardians – even though they were uh, still pushing for a playoff spot, they are they really do struggle to score runs. So I am going to favor Grayson Rodriguez and the Orioles in this game against them on the money line. Yeah, I like that play as well. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Chicago Cubs. I'm going to take the over in this game. I don't know if it's out yet, but I would love to take the Cubbies on the run line. But this season, Kyle Hendricks hasn't been good enough for me to trust them, him to win this game. I more than two runs for his team. He will go out there and give us five solid innings of work most of the time. But this season, more times than not, I feel like he's given up at least three runs when he's on the mound. A big part of that could be due to his lack of velocity recently and his changeup is just not moving like it used to. Over the last three games, he's given a combined at nine earned runs and 21 hits in 16 and 30 innings of work. His ERA is up to 3.77 on the season, and the Pirates should be able to put up a couple runs on the Cubs in this game with Kyle Hendricks on the mound. I think the majority of the runs will come from the Cubs' bats in this game as we'll be facing off against Johan Oviedo. He has a 4.27 ERA, and over the last three games has been questionable to say the least. He has given up a combined 17 hits and seven earned runs over just 12 and a third inning of work. I don't trust either of these teams, so just give me the over as both of these pitchers should struggle in today's game. Over as my play in the Cubs versus Pirates game. Trey, let's move over to the player prop. Start us off. Yeah, and at the moment, I am 1-0 because I had a good day. I ended up giving out Hunter Green over 7.5 strikeouts versus the Twins. And Green, he pitched a fabulous game here. He finished with seven innings pitched, only allowing one run on three hits. More importantly for us, though, he finished with an absolute massive 14 strikeouts in this game. This was easily his most complete and best start of the season. Yeah, and then I have Ian Happ over 1.5 bases against the Pirates today. They have not started yet, but I'm looking forward to Ian Happ having a great game against the Pirates. Seth, what was your play? 
Yeah, I had Aaron Savale over four and a half strikeouts against the struggling Angels. This game has not started yet when we're filming, but this Angels team's really struggling right now, so I really like Savale's chances at four and a half strikeouts. Yep. All right, boys, let's move on to our plays for tomorrow. Trey, start us off. Yeah, and I'm going to start us off here with Garrett Cole to go under six and a half strikeouts here versus the Blue Jays. I'm definitely taking some risk with this bet, but I really like him to hit the under in this game. And I do still expect him to pitch a gym of a game here and possibly go deep. But he has faced this Blue Jays team 12 times in his career with the Yankees. And he's turned that to a 5-2 and two record with a 2.97 ERA and paired with a flat one whip. But so, like I said, he should pitch a gym of a game here. But he does only average 5.6 strikeouts a game versus them, which is under this number. And Cole, he's hit the under 6.5 strikeouts eight games in a row against the Blue Jays. And I expect him to struggle to punch batters away again in this game. So give me Garrett Cole to go under 6.5 strikeouts versus the Blue Jays. I like that one, Troy Seth. Yeah, and I'm going to take a pitcher prop here as well, and I'm going to take Grayson Rodriguez under two and a half earned runs against the Guardians in this game. Grayson Rodriguez has never faced the Guardians before, so this could be tough on the Guardians as all they're going to have against him is film, which is a lot different than having to see somebody for the first time. Rodriguez really struggled out of the gate. Um, as a top prospect for the Orioles, but he's really picked it up in the second half of the season. Like I said, he hasn't allowed more than two earned runs in his last four starts. He also has a 1.96 ERA in September, where he's only allowed four earned runs over 18.1 innings pitched. The Guardians rank bottom five in runs per game. They have trouble scoring runs. I know they had a really nice series against the Royals, but that is the Royals. This is not the Orioles we're talking about. I really like Grayson Rodriguez here, who's pitching like the top prospect he was said to be. Give me Rodriguez's under two and a half earned runs in this game. Yeah, I like that one as well, Seth, for my play today. I'm going to be looking at Jock Peterson to go over 1.5 base against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, for starters, when you're looking at Jock, you have to make sure that he's getting a right-handed matchup to start the game because he cannot hit off a of lefties. This will be a right-handed match for him going up against Emma Sheehan. Against right-handed pitching, he hits 260, and against lefties, he hits 167, only having seven hits against left-handed pitching all season long. So we do have a good matchup with the righty on the mound, and Sheehan has been a little bit of a wild card recently for the Dodgers this season. Over the last seven games, he's only gone past the fourth inning in one of those seven games, but in most of his starts, he had only given up two runs or less. However, in a couple of those starts, he gave up five-plus and six-plus earned runs. And it just seems like every time he has a good start, he matches it with a bad start in his next appearance. In his last game against the Mariners, he allowed zero earned runs on just one hit. So he is on pace for a bad game tonight against the San Francisco Giants. I expect Jock Peterson in this one to get a hold of one against Emmett Sheehan and send it a very long way and get the best of him a couple times in this match. So give me Jock Peterson over 1.5 bases as my play, guys. That'll do it for MLB Player Props and Game Picks for Thursday, September 21st, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.